Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Today I am reviewing this bad boy. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. Uh, this is fairly new. It was um, sneak peeked on Instagram, then we saw swatches on Instagram, and then it was up for sale on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. Um, it was it happened very very quickly a lot quicker than I expected it to happen um, but that's not a bad thing because sometimes when you see this stuff uh, and you're excited by it being able to buy it within a few days is the best um, and that's exactly what I did uh, it went on sale and I bought it straight away um, Anastasia Beverly Hills has been sort of difficult to get in Australia up until I suppose fa fairly recently. Um, you still can't actually buy this palette in Australia. Um, our Sephora is it's rubbish. It really is rubbish. Um, you do have to buy this off the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. It's 42 US dollars and shipping is 17 dollars and 50 cents US to Australia um, so it it's a little bit I suppose it's a little bit pricey when you take into consideration currency conversion and shipping technically for us you have to add shipping on to the cost of this because that's what it's going to cost for you to actually get it in your hands um, but I gotta say this is my first time using Anastasia eyeshadows. Um, I don't regret the purchase whatsoever. This is a beautiful palette. The formula of the shades is beautiful. I love it. It's fantastic. Totally worth the money. So inside the box you will find a palette, obviously. Um, the palette does have a velvet finish to it, um, kind of like the is it It Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes? The the pretty ones, whatever they're called. Um, so it does, it's going to get dirty. Mine is already dirty and dead set, I've only had it three days. So uh, that's a little bit sad. But, I mean, I like the finish, I really do. I just wish it wouldn't get dirty. That's, but you can't, you can't have one without the other. So it is what it is. So inside the palette you will find 14 shades um, and a mirror. Let's try and get that out of the way. Um, you will also find a double-ended brush. Now I don't I don't care for double-ended brushes. Um, I will show you this one. I haven't used it. I probably won't simply because I can't be bothered with them. Um, it's not the same size as a full-size brush, but I wouldn't consider it um, travel size either. You've got a synthetic shader at one end, and then you have a fluffy blender at the other end. Uh, the the blending brush, it feels like it could work. It's a tiny little bit sort of scratchy, but it's soft enough. So if you really like to use brushes that come out of palettes, um, I wouldn't say that this one's completely rubbish. I just, I don't know. I would prefer not to have it in there. So inside the palette you'll find 14 shades. Um, they are, you've got kind of like neutral tones and then red tones. Um, so you, there's two pinks here, um, which they're kind of, because they have a lot of purple and red tones to them, um, they're actually really easy to work with on the eye. Um, and they don't have a tendency to make you look sick. Now, I have actually wiped those swatches off, and look at that. Like, seriously, there is no, there's no shadow on my fingers, but look at that. That's how pigmented these shades are. It is crazy. Personally, for me, I like the palette, I like the shades, um, I am someone who is actually a huge fan of like red tones on the eyes. I know that kind of goes against what a lot of um, professional makeup artists will tell you, um, but I do have a makeup qualification. I do know 
um, that using pinks and reds on the eyes can make you look really sick but if you use them correctly and you use them with the right tones they look amazing they're gorgeous 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 on my eyes today I have uh, let's have a look I've got Worn Fresco, Worn Fresco, I don't know, it is this shade right here. I also have a Love Letter in the crease along with Antique Bronze, that one there. So these two are in my crease and let's see if we can get this to focus. And as you can see, it's not like, it's not crazy. I have a bright pink in there and it's not crazy. Whoa, I just laid this on my bed upside down and dead set. There is eyeshadow everywhere. These are insanely, insanely pigmented. I see where they were going with the modern renaissance thing. The palette, it tells a story. Um, if you're familiar with sort of renaissance related stuff, these are actually the sort of colors that pop up. A lot so it makes sense I get it the person who designed this palette or the team that designed this palette they they did their research they know what they're talking about it tells a story I get it it's all like plain and simple English right there for us here in Australia this is like the perfect palette for what we're going through weather wise um, technically we're supposed to be in winter and we are getting some cold days but we had a bit of a crazy Indian summer this year that extended for quite a while um, we went through autumn with really not a whole lot of autumn looking stuff going on a lot of the trees that uh, should be dropping their leaves are still green um, so to have these shades at the moment is actually quite fitting. You've got those beautiful neutral shades uh, for people who are inspired by winter and autumn at the moment and then you've got these beautiful burnt shades which are also very autumn related um, and for weirdos like myself who love to wear a pop of colour uh, you've got these gorgeous sort of really dark and deep red berry shades. Gorgeous. Love it. Alright, so let's take a look at these swatches. This is the first row and I will let you know these were all swatched on bare skin. I didn't use a primer or anything else to sort of aid in the pigmentation of the shades. So first up, we've got Tempera and Golden Ochre. These are both mattes. Now you probably can't see Golden Ochre on my skin very well. Um, it's essentially the same shade as my skin. Um, it's a bit more obvious in person but um, on camera I really don't think this will show up too well. Then we've got Vermeer. This is um, sort of a pinky-ish shimmer shade. Um, it is a metallic finish. We've got Born Fresco which is a matte. Then we have Antique Bronze which is a satin and oh, so stunning. Um, it's kind of like a, um, a a sienna kind of shade with like gold through it. It's gorgeous. Then we have Love Letter and Cypress Umber and they are both mattes. Alright, here we have the second row. So we've got Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange. They are both mattes. We've got Primavera which is a champagne sort of shade. It's metallic finish. Gorgeous. We've got Red Ochre and Venetian Red. Now, they say Venetian Red is a matte, and it does look quite matte on the skin, but I feel like it looks like there's a little shimmer in there. It doesn't really translate. Um, so that's um, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Um, then we've got Warm Taupe and Real Gar. I might be saying that last shade wrong. Feel free to correct me. All in all, I am actually really, really loving this palette but there are some things that I should probably point out for anyone who has never purchased an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette who hasn't used the eyeshadow formulas uh, I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction I want to give you all the information um, I do find that these can be very powdery shades um, swatching them 
sort of they're very very soft so um, you sort of stir up a lot of product when you go in with a brush even if you're extremely gentle again you stir up a lot of product uh, I can't say I've had an issue with fallout but I am of the habit of tapping off my brush before I actually go from the palette onto my face um, that has you know it's not failed me I've not had any fallout whatsoever I don't know what would happen if you went in with a brush and then straight onto the eye. You might get fallout. I don't know. I haven't tried it myself. I'm not willing to risk it. Um, because these are so soft and buttery, you do get that powderiness, like I said. Um, but it's not a chalkiness. Um, the because you've got that excess powder, uh, it means that you end up with a lot of pigmentation on your actual eye when you go in there. Um, but it also means that they blend out beautifully and you only need to use the tiniest bit of product. Um, if you go in with a lot on your brush, it's going to be colour overload essentially. Um, Something that is fantastic about the formula though is the fact that it builds really well and shades will build on top of other shades in the palette and when you blend them out they don't look muddy. They just blend but you can still see the colour difference. So for all my Australian makeup lovers out there, are these shades worth it or is the, the palette worth it? Is the formula worth it? Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't buy this from Sephora Australia. We all know it's going to be stupidly overpriced. Um, I would jump on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website and I would purchase this along with some other stuff that you like. Maybe go halves with a mate so you can split the shipping. Um, it's going to make it much more affordable for you. Our dollar is pretty bad at the moment, um, but it's not going to be as bad as Sephora is going to make it for you all. And just while we're talking about the online uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills store, they will only let you order two of these palettes at a time. So um, if you want to purchase with a friend and you've got more than one friend that wants one of these, um, you're going to have to fight it out. Alright guys, so I'm going to leave it at that today for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. Uh, I will definitely buy more in the future. These will be the kind of thing that I'm like, hey, now I have a collection. And I cherish them like they're my babies. Alright guys, so that's it for me today. If you tried, that came out a bit strange. If you have tried any Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows, let me know your thoughts. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Why? What's going on? Let me know your thoughts. Definitely interested to know. After you leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, thanks for watching guys. Bye!